What's going on, Capricorn? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for daily Capricorn readings, and be sure to comment down below and let me know where you are watching from. Always shout out to everybody in Michigan. Drop your sun, moon rising, and your birthday. Now, Capricorn, we are taking a look at what is this secret that keeps coming up? There's a few people that want to talk to you, but the secret that continues to repeat... So getting into that, what they got going on in the background, again, remember to like and subscribe, but mainly take what resonates and leave what does not, Capricorn. Do not force it. These are general readings. They are not personal. Lots of Pisces energy. Pisces, Cancer. But the moon here, we see this boy and this man. It makes me think that there's a man involved. Could be a water sign man or just a man in general. Shout out to the Capricorn men that are tapped in. The Knight of Cups. Ace of Air. The Five of Earth. The Six of Coins. Who's this person that's 56? The railroad bill, more cancer. The seven of baskets, seven, seven. Please drop those repeating numbers. And the son of sticks, page of wands, Capricorn. What is this energy of somebody, I repeat, having a double life. Like there's more to somebody's situation that meets the eye. And especially with the moon here. If it's not a woman or another man that you don't know about, just a regular, regular third party situation, because I'm going to call that regular. It may be a situation, family, where Somebody has a child or children you are unaware of. Notice. Mm, son of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Daughter of baskets. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The moon already speaks to secrets and we see two backs. So not just behind one person's back, but behind two. Everybody's getting played. Everybody is getting played. And don't let my tone fool you. Um, I feel like this is somebody playing multiple people or having multiple families out here. Because this is somebody who cannot be alone. Let's talk about somebody with some abandonment issues. But we're definitely talking about a betrayal, whether they got abandonment issues or not. Somebody's been moving in secret with the chariot here in the seven of baskets. If not, somebody's job, somebody traveling for work, Specifically, and, ha and having kids all over. Why don't you know? Why is it a secret? <laughs> I guess that's why we're all here, right? Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the trail of tears behind this individual. Ten of knives. Two of knives. Please drop this person sign down below, Capricorn. Is it an air sign person? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Is that Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper, possibly. All this water and air. Yeah. It's giving, you know, giving to two, taking risks, doing a lot of moving, traveling, nobody really knowing what's going on. I 
I feel I feel very strongly that somebody has kids that they have not spoken about. Now, it could be a man, but this guy, there are women that do this too. It's not gender specific. But that is. Mm. Capricorn, my hands are starting to shake. Listen. Oof. Let's, yeah, when then we'll. Whew, okay. We have Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer on the table. But this is somebody who has children with someone, Capricorn. You might be next. That's why I'm taking a big, deep breath. This is somebody who has children with people, the sevens, so that they always have a spot in somebody's life. So while you may know about somebody and their one child, son, daughter, family, somebody gets around. It makes me think of that, um, oh, that Tupac song, I Get Around. I love that song. I'm going to have to play it now. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, yeah. Moving around, somebody doesn't. People don't know what's really going on, and this is somebody who has a lot of families, children with multiple people. I feel like this is somebody who loves the idea of love, and doesn't and doesn't like the idea of letting ooh possessive, and doesn't like the idea of letting go or saying goodbye permanently. Moving on is very tough for this person. But notice we see look woman looking behind her back here. The rest, see, this is somebody who doesn't want something to end. Mm-hmm. The Scorpio vibes. Oh, heavy water. Yeah. We started with backs turned with the moon. And then our seven of coins here. Back turned, looking over her shoulder. Yeah. Yes. A baby might be insurance for somebody, you know, when, when they feel that something's getting ready to end or they're going to be pushed out, you might be pushing something out. Somebody might be pushing something out. They might be. That's why you got to be careful. This channel is about condoms and celibacy, family. Absolutely. Protection. Message. Okay, and this is exactly where things take a toxic turn. Because here's the deal. Just as soon as the commitment comes in, whether that's getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant, then there's the pushback. Then there's the fighting. But wanting to be a family, but also wanting this distance. There's the wanting to be permanently tied, but also wanting other opportunities, wanting others, wanting more, wanting to be free. It could just be not wanting to be at home as we see somebody does a lot of traveling. I feel like traveling is a part of somebody's lifestyle. But then there's also this, there's a lot of love and then can't get a hold of you. Multiple phone calls, multiple, no can't get in contact with somebody. And then they're coming back around. The children, this permanent connection is the insurance. Marriage, unfortunately, is not forever. Children, ch children are forever. Gemini, Leo, Two of Wands, yes. This is somebody, I repeat, loves to travel. They're like well-traveled, worldly. Could speak multiple languages. We see this mother of knives here that we have a lot of um, air energy, but uh, yeah. This, <laughs> this is how they place an anchor in somebody's life. Yeah, making it official. If it's not through marriage, having a bunch of ex 
husbands and wives is through having children. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like they like somebody to be tied in, but they all like they like their freedom. I feel like the distance or the moving around is a, is something for some is a thing for somebody. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Pentacles, our Nine of Air, and Sagittarius with the Sun. When I say that this is somebody who does not like to move on, and they also like to have their cake and eat it too. There's somebody that likes the beginning stages of a relationship, like the honeymoon stage. They like to keep it that way. They like to keep it fresh. I feel like that's also part of the being in and out. I feel like that's also part of the being stable. Like... I'm going to say this, follow me, because this is toxic. So I'm going to put that disclaimer out first. This is somebody who likes not just the idea of love, but the idea of family that doesn't like to be alone or their greatest fear is being left alone, not having anyone being left behind. But there's also this, as soon as somebody is locked in, not wanting them to leave, but leaving them behind. This is some, somebody likes the chase. You see Gemini with the lovers, the nine of that. They like the chase. They like the courting, the whining and dining, the exciting parts, and then bam, marriage, bam baby at the bottom of the screen. We see this mother of knives here, yep. Male or female, we see Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Mm -hmm. And then comes the chaos and the confusion. Then come the issues, the pro, yeah. I feel like this person has good intentions. I feel like they just have a lot going on mentally and they don't know how to fix their problems. And I guess that's me putting it nicely today. I'm in a good mood. The forest or, yeah. I feel like this person is very quiet about it. Um, I feel like this person is very quiet about this. Their other marriages, dating past, children, whatever it is. They don't say anything until somebody's already in it. Because they because they they understand what people would say if they knew. I also wonder if you have this much going on here, Capricorn. If there aren't already, if you haven't heard something about this individual already. And the it's the eights for me. Repeating eights, sevens, mm-hmm, the double, yeah. The knowing when somebody is away, they have something else going on. Other lovers, clearly secret families and things. But this is somebody who's out, you know, to protect themselves. This is a protection thing. Ooh. What, do you, what is the word for that? Defense mechanism. It's a wild one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They like people to be attached to them, but they don't want to be tied down. And let's talk about somebody who's very smooth with their words. But you would be crazy to trust this person. Let me not say that. That was kind of harsh. They understand what they're doing. That's why they're quiet about it. There's also this level of embarrassment. But there's, you understand that there's, there's not just a secret. There's something that you cannot trust. If somebody does get around, it's the player energy with this daughter of sticks. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The secret relationships. There's always something going on. Yeah. The, all them women ain't friends. All them men ain't friends. That look like a friend to you? That's not a friend. Mm -mm. Yeah. Capricorn, I don't want to drag it out. Somebody's got 
somebody's got an extensive family dating history that they didn't, that they have not, dis they have not disclosed yet. They don't do endings well, so they try to keep people. They try to keep people roped in. They try to keep people roped in. They like their freedom, but they also like having a family, having other places to go. I you need to start asking questions about this person that you feel like is hiding something. Especially this per again, that I feel like can't let go. Doesn't know how to walk away. Has the abandonment attachment issues and likes to travel. Capricorns, keeping this one short. Let me know what resonated for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, drop this person's sign, and family, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.